प्रेस अलाउड गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन लॉर्ड जी एस प्रेयर हॉल मिनिस्ट्री वेलकम्स यू विद गॉड्स ग्रेस होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी एंड स्टेइंग एट होम एंड कीपिंग योर सेल्फ सेफ आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी विथ यू नाउ इट्स ऑल टूगेदर प्रेज प्रेज द लॉर्ड एंड प्रेज इज नेम let's all rejoice in his name and praise him this is the only thing what we can give to god so hope you all are healthy in the name of lord so all of you what are the works you are having leave aside and sit and watch the video and be blessed with god so please bring your bibles and sit and listen to this message so now hope you all are happy with all the god's grace so now is a question from me are we all happy yes we all are happy we are enjoying our life we are enjoying the fruits of god we are very happy and are we living with god are we having spiritual life are we living spiritually in god or we are living in the world so let's all question ourselves are we really living with god are we having a spiritual life are we are living is are we are leading a spiritual life let's all question ourselves like this why because this is very very important in our lives in the last session we had learned to submit ourselves to god so that we will be blessed so today let's question ourselves that how we are living are we, we are happy true it's true so in what way we are happy what making us happy is god's presence making us happy or the worldly presence is making us happy so if the world is making us happy means we are not the children of god that means we are not under the under the hands of our lord jesus christ if we are happy with god means we are blessed ones among all the people right so now let us see here apostle paul is saying that the people are living with flesh all are seem to be good all are looking similar but he is saying that he is dividing the people into three categories why he divided means we will we'll come to know why he had divided the people into three categories and so now let us see the first category of the people is natural man natural man so now let us turn to our scriptures to first corinthians second chapter 14th verse so now let us see i am reading for you first corinthians second chapter 14th verse here it says like this who was whoever does not have the spirit cannot receive the gifts that come from god spirit such a person really does not understand them they are nonsense to him because their value can be judged only on a spiritual basis so here the scripture says that whoever does not have the spirit cannot receive the gifts from god so now we have to analyze ourselves like how we are living are we receiving the gifts from god or not what type of gifts don't think uh, this uh, uh, what are the gifts we are getting from uh, from our friends and all this thing this is not the uh, everlasting gifts for us they are not going to stay with us for long time the gifts from god is a blessing a blessed life what do you need than this blessed life is the most wonderful gift what god is giving us a blessed life with peaceful mind a blessed life is without any problems joyfully living with god do we have this do we have in our lives this one let us all test ourselves here the scripture is clearly saying that whoever 
does not have the spirit holy spirit spirit means not other another spirits what we what we'll talk about it's not that when we are not filled with holy spirit when we are not living with holy spirit we can't receive the gifts that come from god spirit such a person really does not understand them see when we see the world it's a beautiful world the creation is very beautiful when we go deep into this creation we'll think how this had been formed can any man make this creation like this as it is how god has created it's a gift of life so when we see all these things we'll understand how how god loves us how much love he has towards us here what he's saying is the one who is not having spirit in your life will not enjoy the god's creation or the god's love or the gifts what he is going to give to us he's saying that the person who is not having a spiritual spirit in his life will not understand anything about god everything will be nonsense for him so they are nonsense to him because their value can be judged only on a spiritual basis so a natural man will be living like this he don't know anything i should not say don't know anything they know everything but they don't try to accept god's word they don't want to listen to him they don't accept they know everything but they don't try to be with god so let us see now let us go to scriptures now let's go to the psalms 19 chapter first verse here it is telling clearly that how the creation of god is revealed to the people so that nobody can escape from his reality Psalms 19 chapter first verse how clearly the sky reveals god's glory how plainly it shows what he has done what else you want to know that god is the god is the living god it is clearly telling the it is clear the sky is clearly telling us the creation of the god nobody can do that nobody can create that it is clearly revealed to each and every person on this earth whether you are a christian or anybody who are it may be the man on the earth is revealed by his wonderful creations but this natural man he is not at all ready to accept the facts of the god it is clearly telling here how clearly the sky reveals god's glory we should be very grateful to him for giving us such a wonderful universe to us and how plainly it shows what he has done can any man can create the universe again no nobody can do this this only can done by jesus christ only nobody can do this this is what the creation this is what the real fact which is reveal, revealing to the people but people are still in madness they don't want to accept the reality of the god so now let us see another scriptures see in romans first chapter here apostle paul is clearly telling how the natural man is Romans first chapter 18th verse God is angry God is God's anger is revealed from heaven against all the sin and evil of the people whose evil ways prevent the truth from being known as the truth is revealed clearly in Psalms we learn that how clearly the sky is showing the reality of the creation of God how it is revealing everything every work of the god is revealing so clearly about his works about his love about his 
kindness towards us no it is very clear for everybody nobody is trying to accept his love that's why he is so anger he was so angry god's anger is revealed from heaven against all the sin and the evil of the people who we will ways prevent the truth from being known everybody knows this but still they are hiding all the truth from the god and going in their own way and see god punishes them because what we can know about god is plain to them for for god himself made it plain everything is so clear when we see the sun when we see the plants when we see the earth when we see the water everything is visible to us clearly it shows the great works of god but even then what we are doing is we are just hiding all the truths and we are living as we like right see ever since god created the world his invisible qualities both his eternal power and his divine nature have been clearly seen they are perceived in the things that god has made so those people who have no excuse at all so the people who are knowing about god also if they are acting that they don't know what who is god they are definitely punished here the scripture says that they know god but they do not give him the honor that belongs to him everybody know the god everybody knows about god but they are not ready to accept his presence they are not honoring him they are not thanking him for his love and kindness towards us instead their thoughts have become complete nonsense and their empty minds filled with darkness now they are roaming in the darkness thinking that god is not there it is not the creation of god with the nonsense mind with the darkness in their mind their minds are empty now when we are with god our minds will fill with spirit we'll be very happy we have a joyful life joyful life will rejoice in their lives with god the lord jesus christ so they say they are wise they are thinking that we are wise who the natural man thinks that he is wise because he is thinking that there is no god this is not done by god this is done by man right and they say they are wise but they are fools instead of worshiping the immortal god they worship him they worship images made to look like mortal man of birds or animals or reptiles how shameful thing it is how graceful thing it is how pity it is the peep though they know the god is a real living god still they are worshiping idols still they are worshiping trees animals birds who are from where these birds and animals and trees came from who created all these things what is this nonsense the people are doing now this is what god is saying that everything is visible to you but still your minds are not turned towards me this is what the natural man do see he may not be totally deprived he thus concludes the scriptures are nonsense nonsense he is dead and must be resurrected let us see here the apostle paul saying that apostle paul is saying that the natural man is like a dead man why means dead man means not really dead man that means he is dead in the spirit of god he is not having the things in his life of god he is not having the works of god in his life he is dead without the scriptures of god without the word of god let us see the scriptures now ephesians second chapter ephesians second chapter first verse it says like this let us turn to our bibles to ephesians first chapter second chapter first verse ephesians second chapter 
first verse in the past you were spiritually dead because of your disobedience and sins why he is calling the natural man as dead man because his his disobedience everything is revealed clearly you can see the sun in the sky you can see the stars in the sky you can see the moon in the sky you are enjoying the light you are enjoying the heat you are enjoying the twinkling of the stars and everything you are enjoying the nature and everything but still you are not obeying to god so you are dead he is saying that in the past you were spiritually dead because of your disobedience and sin what is sin telling lies stealing this all sins apart all these things not obeying his word is also a sin so that's why god is saying that apostle paul is saying that you are dead in spiritual life that means the person who is not living with god is a dead dead man it indicates a resemblance of dead man only if you are not doing the works of the god if you are not really spiritual with your god if you are not living with god if you don't believe the god's word it means you are dead in the name of lord jesus christ in his mind in his life in his presence we are dead people because we are not doing the works of his love and kindness we are not believing him we are disobedient we are disobedient we are very disobedient to him and we are doing sin by not listening to his words this is what the natural man which paul had divided the man into three sex three categories the first one is he is a dead man he is a natural man he knows everything but he will not accept the truth now let's see the second man the carnal man in other word we can say cry baby my small baby who is milking herself who is drinking milk A small baby who is drinking milk the category the second category indicates the small child who is drinking milk who don't have the attitude of analyzing what is good and bad now let us see the scriptures second corinthians third chapter first corinthians third chapter 1 to 4 verses first 1 to 3 verses so let us see as a matter of fact my brothers i could not talk to you as i talk to people who have the spirit i had to talk to you as though you belong to this world as children in this christian life faith i had to feed you with milk not solid food because you are not ready for it even now you are not ready for it here the situation of the babe the man is like a small baby who is drinking the milk the baby who is drinking milk we don't know anything only thing is the baby likes to drink milk and sleep that's it when i he feels hungry he cry when it feel like playing they'll play this is what we see in the crying baby a baby who is drinking milk he is saying that the people some of the people are them of the men are like small child they don't know anything he is helpless as a newborn infant let us see the scripture ephesians 4:14 ephesians 4:14 then we shall no longer be children carried by the waves and blown up about by every shifting wind of the teaching of the disciple man we lead others into error by tricks they invent so here the scripture says that then we shall no longer be children 
let us learn to be spiritual in god the scripture says that don't be like a small child don't be like a child only come out of the childish nature think how god is lovable think how god is kind think how god is graceful to us Once look at the cross. See his sacrifice over there. When you see the sacrifice of the cross, you will not be a child again. You can't be a child when you see the cross. When you see him hanging on the cross, you can't be a child. That is what the scripture is saying that no don't be no longer don't be a child. he is unable to receive anything but milk this man is completely depending on the milk only he is unable to grow up he is helpless now still in child manner childish manner only still lying like a child he don't want to come out of this childish nature he walks and talks like unsaved man the man who comes to church they'll sing songs they'll praise god but that is artificial niche childish behavior only they don't want to be involved in the spiritual life of god this is the situation of the carnal man he can't analyze he talk like unsaved man that means which who is not saved by god how the child will be the, the nature of the man will be like the childish nature only if anybody is like a childish nature till now knowing about god but still thinking like behaving like a baby please come out of that life now you know the love of god you are experiencing the love of god you are experiencing the love of kindness you are experiencing everything from god you are receiving everything every blessing from god but still you are like baby don't waste your time my dear believers don't waste your time by being like a child if you are like that god will not help you So now let's come to the third man whom God whom apostle Paul had divided into category the third person let us see the conqueror the spiritual man he is the spiritual man who loves God who follows the rules of God who is very near to God who walk with God who live with god see let us see the characteristics of these man he is not sanctimonious he is not superior in matters of brains he don't behave like a superior he lower down his heart towards god he will keep god as a superior in his life he is not superior in matters of brain strength background money he never bothered about the money background and fame and name and everything he just run towards the god for his fame in the heaven that is the nature of the spiritual man he is not he is not sensational he not create anything sensational is very simple man when we when we live in the spirit of god will be very simple he is not sugary sweet he is not sugary sweet he is not straight laced he is not segregated from society he is not superficial he is not spineless he is spiritual what is he he is spiritual now let us see the scriptures it's not my own words i have taken it from the scriptures only 
let us see the scriptures second corinthians 215 first corinthians 215 when we see the scriptures whoever has the spirit however he is able to judge the value of everything but no one is able to judge him as the scripture says who knows the mind of the lord who is able to give him advice we however have the mind of christ the spiritual man will be like this how here the scripture says that whoever has a spirit however he is able to judge the value of everything but no one is able to judge him this is the characteristic of the spiritual man nobody can judge him why because he is a man of god he is a child of god he is living a spiritual life he is living a spiritual life to spiritual life to be spiritual is to be harmony with god when you are spiritual when you are live spiritually when you have a spiritual life you will have a harmony with god your life will be very beautiful your life will be very harmonious nobody can expect that one nobody give, will give us such kind of love to us very harmonious if you are a spiritual man now let us see galatians 5th chapter 16 and 25th verse 25 galatians 5th chapter and 25 see here it says like this 16th verse galatians 5th chapter 16th verse what i say is this let the spirit direct your lives and you will not satisfy the desires of human nature here the scripture says that if you live a spiritual life you will not satisfy the desires of human nature when you live a spiritual life you don't have satisfaction the worldly life you don't like the worldly life the riches the money the fame name the strengths of the world will not be loved by you if you are a spiritual man what a wonderful statement if you are a spiritual man you will not have the desire of the human nature you don't like it sins have you experienced any time my dear believers now let us experience the spiritual life and 26 verse says that here we must not be proud or irritate one another or be jealous of one another here the verse says scripture says that if you are a spiritual man you must not be proud or irritate one another or be jealous of one another if anybody is greater than us becoming greater than us don't be jealous and don't be proud with what the talents you are having with what the life you have If you are a spiritual man you don't have this proudness you don't have this jealousness my dear believers think once are we proud enough in our life with what we are having are we jealous about others no if that is there in your life just now leave it and come to god he is ready to accept he is stretching his hands wide enough to welcome you all 
My dear believers, let's see another scripture, 2 Corinthians 5th chapter, 17th verse. 2 Corinthians 5th chapter, 17th verse. It says like this. When anyone is joined to Christ, he's a new beginning. The old is gone, the new has come. Amen. It's a wonderful verse. When you join with Christ Jesus, you are no more an old man. You are no more an old person. You are a new beginning. What a wonderful love God has towards us. My dear believers, if you don't experience this love, at least now, leave all the old lush. Start the new beginning. Here it says like this, 17th verse, Whenever anyone, anyone is joined to Christ, he is a new beginning, the old is gone, the new has come. What a wonderful life we, come, we have when we are with Jesus. Do you think the, the life what we are leading is a wonderful life? No, this is not the wonderful life. When you start your life with a spiritual life, you will have a new beginning. My dear believers, this is a great opportunity for us, for you and me. Never be discouraged. Be a faithful servant to God. Be a spiritual man. <coughs> and the last verse we'll see is Philippians 2 7, 2 5. Let us see the scriptures Philippians 2 5. Here it says this, like this. The attitude you should have is the one that Christ Jesus had. The wonderful verse it is. The attitude. What type of attitude you are having? Leave it. Now, put on the attitude of Christ. So that you will be blessed. You are greatly blessed, my dear believers. Now this is the time for us to analyze our life. Are we are in the natural, living in the way of natural man? Knowing all the kindness of God? Knowing all the love of God? Knowing everything what is God? Still we are like acting like natural man? Please my dear believers, don't do that. Here God is asking us to come back. Living all the old filthy rags. Come to Him and start a new life, start a new beginning. This is what God wants from you and me. My dear believers, if you are still baby crying baby, grow up in Christ. Grow up in the Word of God. Change your life, my dear believers. If you are still in the milking baby, if you are a small baby still, don't stay there only. Come on, grow up in the Christ. Grow up in the spiritual life. You will enjoy the fruits of life. Everybody knows about God. Everybody knows the truth of the love of God. But still the people are dragging behind themselves and they are Living a sinful life. One of my friends asked me, How this corona is killing all the people? What your God is doing? I said, It is His will. Don't you have mercy? You are playing, praying a lot. You are praising your God. You are saying that your God is very great. Then I said that it is his creation. And let him do what he wants. It is his will. We are his own. 
and at last i said that pray to god you'll get all the answers pray to god with faith sincerity trusting him ask him definitely god is going to give you the answer so my dear believers knowing about god knowing the love of god if you are still a natural man if you are still a carnal man you will be punished by god my dear believers this is a great opportunity for us to be a spiritual man that we are going to enjoy our life in the spiritual life not this worldly pleasures this worldly pleasures will not take us to heaven so many people will come to church they will pray they will sing song they will cry but in their mind sincere prayer is not there sincere worship is not there sincere love towards god is not there sincere praising is not there my dear believers depend on god only he is the only way to redeem us from everything he is the only one if you are a spiritual man if you turn towards him if you love him he'll give us a new beginning to us clear in corinthian romans first chapter 18 where it says that god's anger reveals about the sin of the man how he is knowingly how he is doing the sin he is very angry about it he know the creation of god he know the love of god he knows everything what god has done for us in our life when we get when we have something trouble in our life when we suffer with something we simply say that god is not doing anything to us he is not looking at us yes he is looking at us he is watching our deeds he is watching us he is loving us he is saying that my dear child please come to me i am ready to help you i will give you precious life but we people behaving like a natural man behaving like a carnal man if the situation is like in your life now come on my dear ones this is the time for us to turn back towards god he is stretching his hands so wide once look at the cross you can see his love on the cross how much he loves you my dear believers that is very clear for us he is loving us like anything he is loving us he is loving us because he loves us he sacrificed have we ever imagined nailing in your hands nailing your legs how horrible it is he loves you so much my dear ones he loves you and me so much he is waiting for us he is asking please come to us please come to me i will give you a new beginning my dear ones again again i am telling you if you are not in a spiritual life if you are not leading a spiritual life please give a chance to god he will give you a new new beginning he will give you new beginning your life will be new beginning you will enjoy the fruits of the love of god amen let's all together pray to god and we'll worship him we'll praise him we'll enjoy the fruits of love hope you all have listened to this message now if anybody is if anybody is including myself if you are not in the third person situation if you are not like third person let's all change our lives 
and be gratitude towards God. He's not asking anything from us. He's asking to change our life and to walk with Him, to live with Him. That is what He wants. That is what the gift He wants from us. Can't you give this? Can we do this, my dear believers? Can't you change our lives? Can't we live with God? Yes, we can do that. With the help of God only. Let's all bow our heads and pray. Let's all ask Him. Let's all ask Him to give us a new beginning in the life. Let's all leave all the filthy rags. All the filthy rags. And live with Him. With a new beginning. With a new spiritual life. Let's all bow your heads. Let's all bow our heads and pray. Our most precious Heavenly Father, thank you Lord for your love. Thank you Lord for your grace. Thank you Lord for your kindness. Lord, we are very foolish. Knowing about you very well, we are unable to come to you Lord. What a pitiful life we are living Lord. Lord, help us. We are sinners. Please, give us a new beginning. We want to leave all the filthy rags and leave them and throw away from our lives and live with you, Lord. Lord, show mercy on us. The world is being suffering with a lot, with the corona. Lord, please, redeem us from this virus. Please save all the people. As we know, this is your creation. This is your will. Even then, we are asking you, Lord, please. Lord, please help us to live in spiritual life. By seeing your love on the cross also, we are unable to change ourselves. Please change our minds, change our lives. By seeing your cross, make us to learn the lesson from the cross. Lord, help us to be with you. Spiritually, Lord, you are the only one we have in this world. Nobody can save us. Lord, you are the most gracious person. If we are going away from you, please help us to come back. Don't show your anger on us. We are the children of yours. He has shed blood for us, Lord. Please save us. The people who are suffering with this coronavirus. We all are in panic condition. Waiting for your love. Waiting for your will. My dear Lord. You are the only one who can save us. Only this we can ask you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Once again, my dear members of Lord Jesus Prayer Hall, always pray to God. Keep praying, 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 praying. Prayer is the only solution for us to be happy. And keep watching these videos. Pray for us. Pray for our ministry. Pray for me and for my family so that we be grow spiritually more and more and spread the gospel of God and we are praying for you all the people all the members of the church and all who are watching this video we all are praying for you so definitely God is going to show a great path in which we can live happily thank you all praise the Lord